more charges than years old. 19-year-old Neonte Little is the man behind dozens of recent Hampton Roads thefts, according to police. They also arrested Kendall Wingfield, both playing a part in six business burglaries and attempted burglaries in Hampton this month. It happened right before Christmas, so it's really shocking and depressing. An employee at Jewels and Gems on McMenamin Street, who asked News 3 to protect his identity, says his store was hit on the 15th at 4 a.m. The thieves broke his door and several display cases to get some of his best jewelry. They just got away with pretty good stuff, you know. This is really very scary. A store employee tells me when he looked at the camera the day after the break-in, he didn't recognize the two men because they had their faces covered with a mask. But when he saw their mugshots today, he realized he had met them before. They exactly know what what is the, where what is and where. Six days later and right down the street, Nexus Clothing Store was hit around 2.30 a.m. The jeans in here can go up to $400, and they got a lot of high-priced items. <laughs> they, they made out great right before Christmas. That's taken away from the owner's um, family. Employees say the two men threw rocks through their front door to get inside. Without the, the door being there, it was very uh, uneasy. Little and Wingfield's alleged spree is over. The employees are still left picking up the pieces. This situation cannot make anyone happy, for sure because it's a big loss. Eighteen balloons released into the sky, one for each year of Cydia Griffin's short but impactful life. When you lose an angel like Cydia was and, and the way she was lost, it, it just, it's hard. Police say Griffin, a senior at Kempsville High School, died shortly after walking into a local hospital Saturday night with a gunshot wound. She leaves behind devastated family and friends who tonight met outside the high school, releasing lanterns in Cydia's honor before walking over to nearby Kemp's Landing Park. There, illuminated by candlelight, emotions high as they tearfully paid tribute. We all love you, dear. We miss you so much. A girl known for a smile that could light up a room. The smile is right there, just right there. She was so welcoming to anybody. Griffin's uncle Richard McPherson says he'll always remember Cydia's beauty and the love she had for family. I call her my little model. And to lose somebody so young, 18 years old, you know, snatch her away from us like that right there overnight is like mm -hmm. the family is we trying to cope with it. Family members now turning to each other and tonight hundreds more for support after the unthinkable. She was like my best friend that was more than just a friend. It's hard to let it go. But seeing you guys here and, and just I know my baby was loved and I thank God for every last one of you all. That's the bark putting a crook behind bars. We're proud, you know, I think that it's been a good time for, for all of us. He has no idea. It's a good thing. Paco calls the Green Acres and Pinehurst neighborhoods in Portsmouth home. We adopted him about two years ago in 2014. I had originally adopted um, the, my other dog um, and I thought maybe she needed a little friend so I got Paco and um, they're best of buddies. But Paco is very aware of who isn't a buddy of the neighborhood. On a Sunday night around three in the morning, Paco woke up his owner Kelly. He kept growling and then he started to bark so I got up to look out the window to see what was going on. That's when Kelly spotted someone who wasn't supposed to be there. So he had a hoodie on and he had a backpack and um, so I watched him, and then he went down our neighbor's driveway, and that's when I decided to call the cops. Paco's alertness led to Portsmouth police arresting 26-year-old Sean Caldwell, who was charged with vehicular trespass. Police believe if Paco didn't wake up Kelly, Caldwell would have been successful in committing several robberies. He wants to protect his house, his people, and his neighbor. For his actions, Paco is now the official mascot for the Community Watch program. I'm a little overwhelmed by all of this. Um, I mean, I know dogs and I know they, you know, try to protect their homes. So, I mean, that's all he was doing. And we were just looking out for our neighbors.
Whether it's tonight or in the morning, there's a lot of scraping and brushing to be done before heading back to work tomorrow. Michael Kerner had to work today. Forced to start his commute on an ice-covered Norfolk street this morning, he took some time this evening to clear his driveway. Today I'm shoveling a little bit of snow to get cleaned up for tomorrow morning so I can be ready to get out to go to work. And if his commute is anything like today, the highways will be okay. It's the secondary roads he's worried about as more people take to the road. I think uh, you know everybody needs to be courteous and keep good distances and so forth because you can slide. Uh, my car is a rear-wheel drive car and so it does yeah, I have to be careful when I'm driving it um, in the snow. VDOT is reminding all drivers to take extra care on those on and off ramps, which can be particularly hazardous. A New York City native, Nico Bonetto, says he spent the day driving friends in Virginia Beach to work because he's used to the snow. The roads, worse than he expected. For me, it's been a disaster. I've been trying to go from Shore Drive to Laskin, and I've been in this car since 2 o'clock. And the roads are like this, they're full of ice. He says if the streets are bad enough to close schools, it should be a sign for everyone. When the schools are ready, then the work should be ready, right? Three, two, one, go! Tummies are tight. Nice yeah. job, ladies. The motivation coming from these fit moms is hard to miss. This workout group in Norfolk is part of Fit for Mom, a company building healthy communities for mothers across the country, with several villages right here in Hampton Roads. They host daily, hour-long classes that help moms look and feel great. Beautiful form. So it's kind of like a win-win. You get yourself in shape, and then you get to have these great people that um, you know you can get advice from, or just tell your stories, and you know, and they, and you hear, oh yeah, oh that happened to me too, and. It's just nice to have that whole thing to come to. Go, Sandy, go, go, go! People are cheering for you and pushing you on, and it makes it easier to show up. Take it up, take it up, let's go! And these women are gaining more than just muscle definition. It makes us better moms. Um, the endorphins, the way it makes us feel. Um, we're patient with our children after we get our workout, um, which sometimes you don't realize how effective that is until you do it. And you get your workout and you feel good and you, you're ready to take on anything. Stroller Strides is one of the classes that gets these moms moving. Moms can bring their little ones to come work out with them. Um, so it's strength, cardio, and core with, you know, running or power walking in between. They also have Body Back, a high-intensity interval training that takes moms on an eight-week journey to fitness physically, but also mentally. It's just so nice to be around other moms and see that people are going through the same thing that you are. Coming together and being a village and working together as a team. Everybody got it? Beth Prevers pushed past tough obstacles. She first inspired you with her 100-pound weight loss journey back in 2014. Hip surgery had left her unable to walk. If I can do it at 50, with a fake hip, then I think that anybody needs to get out there and at least try. She'd already been putting that fighting spirit to work to find a cure for ALS. Through her job at Town Bank, she's raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for the JT Walk to benefit ALS research. <laughs> but now, in a strange twist of fate, one of the biggest voices in the fight against ALS is slowly being silenced. Then he said, you have ALS. I just saw, I thought, how can this be? Beth started having speech issues last year. In April, doctors discovered why. I've seen it firsthand. It's a hideous disease. ALS is first attacking her ability to speak. In my head, I think I can talk right. And then... I'll say something as it doesn't come out. How is your body feeling, the use of your arms and legs? Oh, I feel great. But no one knows how long it could be before the disease chips away at her mobility, too. You see, ALS attacks motor neurons, eventually paralyzing everything in the body. For years, News 3 showed you how the disease attacked former Navy SEAL Mike Oyer, and he, like most victims, died five years after diagnosis. I have to live with it. I don't consider it a death sentence. I'm choosing to live my life with 
Alas. So Beth is tackling her bucket list. On deck for July, skydiving, and she's crossing her fingers to meet John Bon Jovi during his NYC concert. They got my boy. Oh, that's your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> she also hopes to see Hamilton this fall and Jimmy Fallon too. A bucket list Beth is betting she'll be able to complete. <laughs> it is hard to believe this is happening to Beth, but she believes in miracles. <laughs> And the possibility a cure will carry her back to CrossFit. How do you want people to look at you in your life? I want to leave a legacy of faith in God and loving others and be of service. It is beautiful. Blaine, I know you love it. I love it. You, we had to bring it outside for our last hit, you guys. 219 Bistro, perfect place to end our, our long week of downtown Norfolk Restaurant Week. We came in, we talked to Chef. Uh, he's telling us all of the great things that they've got going on this Restaurant Week menu. Everything that you come here and you get and love on a regular basis, they've got that for a special price this week. It's typically you know, menu selections that the people love to come in and get, and they come in on Restaurant Week and they get a little bit better deal on them. A pretty great deal. 219 Beaster was offering $12 two course lunches and $35 three course dinners all week long. We have our black and tuna tacos with uh, seasoned rice, sweet chili slaw, our veal meatloaf with uh, mashed potatoes, green beans, and uh, mushroom bacon gravy. Yum. And if chef were doing the ordering. The meatloaf is definitely one of my favorites, but I mean, you can't go wrong with any of the choices. Everything's good? Everything's great. Everything's great, from the food to the atmosphere. I feel like we have some of the best food in Norfolk here. And, but uh, specifically, our, uh, our location is great. We have a beautiful patio, fans blowing. It's nice to sit out and just watch the people go by.